Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Topps Stadium Club Chrome Baseball. Eight box, half case, Ram Team break number one. It says 27 spots, but if we combo those up, that actually only make, that makes 28. We were giving away spots anyway, so I just made that 28th spot an extra giveaway spot right here. So we only sold 22 spots outright and giving away the final six spots. Let's do that in the first dice roll. Second dice roll will be for names and teams. Let's roll it, randomize it. Four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and final time. So after seven, top six, John, Jack, Arthur, Emma, Chris, and Logan. Some extra spots going your way. So we'll put a little rooftop next to your name. So you know you won those extra spots. Now let's gather up your names in this list again. And there are the Cubs, Rockies, Dodgers combo right here. I took the Rockies out, right? And the Dodgers I took out of this list. All right, so that should be 28 on each list. Let's roll it and randomize it. Six and a five, 11 times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And final time. After eleven, we have a couple Jeffs. Down to Cody. Six and a five, 11 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 the final time. After 11, we got the Angels down to the Mets. All right, Jeff with the Angels and the Cardinals. Logan with the Pirates. John with the Nationals. Chris with the Red Sox. Chris Parent with the Yankees. John with the Cubs, Rockies, and Dodgers combo. Emma with the A's. Jack with the Marlins. Brittany with the Orioles. Emma with the Mariners. Rick with the Reds. Robert with the Blue Jays. TJ with the Astros. Logan with the Padres. Arthur, last spot, Mojo star next to your name. Chicago White Sox. Jack with the Braves. James with the Phillies. Chris with the Giants. John with the Rangers. Arthur with the Tigers. Brian with the Rays, Robert, Twins, Diamondbacks, Indians, William with the Royals, John with the Brew Crew, Cody with the New York Mets. Let's sort alphabetically by team. And while you're considering trades, I'm going to pop this fresh case open. I'll flip back to the screen so you can see your teams again in a second. But we're going to pop this case open and we're going to see which half of the stadium club we're going to do. Got Astros up for trade. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Yeah, so eight boxes on the left and right side. We're going to select this guy right here. We're going to go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. This we will save for some other time. So we'll put X's on there so we know that they're all from the same case right over here. Okay. All right. Let's flip back here. I'm going to pause the video really quick. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. A little tiny bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here in our first half of 2021 Top Stadium Club Chrome Baseball. This is my first look at it. I know we've done some uh, on maybe personal breaks, maybe on whatnot, but on the uh, group break channel, this is our first look at it. So what are we looking for? One card in every box, chrome versions of Stadium Club. Good 
luck, ladies and gentlemen. Are there box toppers? No, no box hoppers in Chrome. At least not in that box. Is there a possibility of box hoppers? If so, there wasn't in that box. But I love the photography in Stadium Club. That's always really sharp. What else? One autograph in every box? One on-card autograph in every box. I wonder if that's for the non-chrome version, TJ. I wonder if the Chrome version doesn't give you a box topper. All right, so what's what's our what's our what ships in this? No vet commons ship. All right, so obviously rookie cards will ship, Jazz Chisholm will ship, Miguel Sano will not ship, inserts will ship, parallels will ship, like this parallel, Taiwan Walker will ship. It's not numbered, but it's a wave parallel that will ship. Refractors like this will ship, of course. Babe Ruth refractor definitely ships. Beam team will ship. That will ship as well. And this will definitely ship. Nice start. Tops Chrome, Top Stadium Club Chrome, Dylan Carlson on card autograph for the Cardinals. Jeff with the Redbirds. All right, and this Boba Chet is a refractor, so that will certainly ship as well. So you'll be getting most of most of the stuff here. Eleven out of twenty-five. That is Joe Adele. It's Honus Wagner. Maybe that's a variation, which is why it's flipped around. So we're actually going to just leave these up. Our shipping team will will end up taking care of uh, top loading those before they go out. Nice Joe Adele. All right, that was box one in the books. I know, isn't it weird to, to say Babe Ruth and refract, Refractor? I think a, a Refractor, Rick, in in uh, in Babe Ruth's time must have must be like talking about actual glass prism light being refracted through as a as like a circus trick or something like that something that maybe only uh only fortune tellers had in their caravans something strange and mystical and foreign that's probably what it was in Babe Ruth's time <laughs> Refractors probably only refer to like light refracting off of like water, maybe in a pool, perhaps. That's probably it, or through through a the window pane of a 
of a, uh, a glass house, a greenhouse. All right, next box. We've got a 27 out of 50. Manny Ramirez, gold. Yeah, yeah, like a piece of glass on, on a field. Hey, <laughs> what, are the, what are the odds of, uh, you think Babe Ruth in his lifetime ever said the word refractor? Or refracting or any... any not right. There's the autograph, Mickey Moniak. Looks like he got a little cautious autographing. Like, use the whole canvas, Mick. It's all good. James with the Philadelphia Phillies. Former one, number one overall pick. <laughs> that that picture with the, him and the oversized bat always cracks me up. There's, there's the big her with it. Is this a, was this a thing? People, people posing with gigantic bats. They should bring that back. Bring back the gigantic bat. All right, next box. Maybe this break is gonna go faster than I thought. Maybe in my head I was thinking, I was thinking how long it takes me to do regular stadium club. Anyway, next box of eight. Only about ten minutes or so in, and a couple boxes in. Ten. Anyway, hey, if we're ahead of schedule, it's fine. It's a good thing. I feel like there's some baseball news that's kind of happening. I, I feel like teams kind of want to get some, some teams want to get, and some players want to get deals done before Thanksgiving, before the collective bargaining agreement, uh, the most current one, ends on December 1st. What day is today? Today is the 24th, and December 1st is next Wednesday, so a week from now. The current collective bargaining agreement between the owners and the players is over. That means, unless they figure it out by then, which I don't think they will. Um, so, I don't know if they've even met yet in the offseason. But it ends, so that puts a, a an essentially a hiring freeze in baseball, a transaction freeze. So I don't think the, I don't think players can be released. Or paid even, I think. I don't know if they get paid in the offseason. I think, I think they get game checks. But whatever happens in the offseason, transactionally, trades can't happen. There's Dal Dalton Varsho. Signings can't happen. So there's Dalton Varsho for Robert and the Diamondbacks. So I think a lot of teams trying to get some business done now if they can, because who knows how the terms can change for, for both sides. There's world champion Ian Anderson, 21 out of 25, right? It could benefit the players or it could benefit the owners. Who knows? It's a mystery. TJ, when do you think they'll get together? Have they have winter meeting? I guess maybe winter meetings? I don't even know where the winter meetings are. I know they did the GM meetings. 
I don't know if they've done the proper winter meetings. Logan, what's going on? How are you? And there's an o beam team, Otani, wave, your AL MVP. There's no doubt about it either. Tired. Another long day for Logan. Logan works for the Postal Service. He's working hard. Um, cut him some slack, ladies and gentlemen. Cut Logan. Cut Logan and the uh, rest of his teammates, the United States Postal Service, some slack. They're doing their best. They're working hard. You know, even even in normal years, you know, the Postal Service gets backed up with a huge amount of volume. I think the last two years have probably been at least in recent memory, record number of volume being shipped. A lot of guys working hard, a lot of men and women working hard, so. And listen, um, actually, good news. In terms of our sorting and shipping process, we are all caught up. So, so I think our team breaks from tonight. I think our team are, I think some breaks from tonight are being already being worked on now. And could probably be, might even be with with some luck, we might be able to get them shipped out by Friday. But we are, we are like, uh, we are completely caught up. We had a huge batch of stuff ship out yesterday and today, so we're completely caught up. So the only outstanding breaks, at least from the YouTube side, is tonight, which is good. But just remember, because of the huge volume that's going to hit the post service in the upcoming weeks, probably happening now already. Um, just keep in mind that a lot of times the, the scanning, the point-to-point -point scanning may be the first thing that gets, uh, that gets lost, that, that they won't do just because they're working on just the, the nuts and bolts of just shipping stuff. So just be patient with them. Yes, be patient. And yeah, got to be patient. Oh, a little Stadium Club Chrome. A little Stadium Club Chrome. So just keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Just be patient with us, be patient with them, and... Um, as long as you get a tracking number, you know from us. Even there, even if there's no scan, uh, point to point scanning, you just know that it's on its way. And maybe there might be a little bit of a delay, but just be patient during the holiday season. And listen, we'll we'll make it. We'll get there. All the stuff will eventually get to you. This nice Cabrian Hayes. And we'll get there. And there's a Daz Cameron, Mike's son. Some of you may remember Mike Cameron. Daz Cameron is going to go to Detroit. Arthur King won that team in the filler. Or I guess won that team with the extra spots we were, we were, being, we were giving away. And it ends up with that hit. Kershaw, so TBD on whether he's going to be re-signed or not. All indications seem to be that he will probably come back to the Dodgers. Obviously, his home lives in Dallas most of the season, and I think a lot, a lot of people are speculating if he goes somewhere, it'll probably be Dallas if he goes elsewhere. But um, Clayton Kershaw, as many people have indicated, are pretty uh, are pretty he's pretty competitive. I don't know if he wants to go to the Rangers. No offense to the Rangers, but I think he wants to he wants to be involved in the postseason for as much as possible. Oh yeah, good call. Logan Logan is warning everybody about porch pirates. It's already pretty bad during the holiday season. So yeah, keep that in mind. Have stuff shipped to if you, I don't know, if you work from home, if, you, if you're if you at home, you know, maybe invest in one of those, uh, one of those security cameras, Google or Ring, whatever you want to use. 
if you uh, if you work out of home outside if you go to work you know maybe try to have it shipped to your work get Amazon stuff shipped to like Amazon lockers that's also not a not a bad way to go be vigilant all right so TJ saying winter meetings start the first weekend in December they will still happen but instead of talking signings and trades there that's when they're gonna work out the agreement so that'll be a kind of a key moment to get out of the winter meetings, which is usually like a week, right, Teach. So they'll try to spend the week-ish, I think, or so, to try to hammer out the CBA there. Hopefully, that's when they'll get it done because, I don't know, they didn't really seem to get along last year when they were trying to figure out how to get a season under, under the uh, restrictions of the, at the height of the pandemic. So there was a lot of back and forth there, a lot of angry tweets we saw from players in the summer of 2020. You know, a lot of games lost because of that. So hopefully a full week. Nice. Okay, so yeah, it's a full week. So hopefully, I don't know if much has changed since then is what, I, what I'm getting to. Hopefully we won't have to deal with you know, any kind of lockout or a strike. There's Shogo Akiyama for the Reds to 25. Nice orange parallel for Rick Thomas. There's a Jared Kalanick, gold to 50. Alex Bregman, silver. So yeah, hopefully we won't have to, won't have to deal with any, any kind of work stoppage. Hopefully we don't miss any meaningful, meaningful baseball. And there's Davey Garcia, a rookie auto for the Yankees. It's Chris Parent with the Bronx Bombers. Juan Soto. There's a Chris Taylor. No word on if he's going to end up back with the Dodgers. Three boxes to go. All right, so what, any, I really like MLBTradeRumors.com because that uh, usually do a good job at curating curating MLB trade rumor and other information kind of stuff. They curate that, aggregate that pretty well together. And they usually are good about kind of avoiding just loose rumors. They try to get some, some more concrete rumors as possible. Pirates to re-sign Yoshi Sutsugo. Ren McKay undergoes thoracic outlet surgery? I don't know. We were, I was kind of hoping he'd have a big year this year. Raised two-way player, Brandon McKay underwent thoracic outlet syndrome, decompression surgery yesterday. The team informed reporters he's expected to begin throwing in early February, and the team remains hoping to be ready for the mound by the start of spring training. Yeah, that's an unfortunate injury development, a long line of recent health issues for him. The Southpaw missed the 2020 season on the account of a shoulder problem that eventually required surgery. E I don't even know what thoracic outlet. I don't even know what your thoracic outlet is. Where is your any doctors in the house? I'm looking at your thoracic. Oh, the thoracic outlet syndrome. It looks like your collarbone-ish area, like some of the ligaments that attach the collarbone that go maybe underneath the collarbone? Yeah, I think it's right under your collarbone. Oh, that's kind of, that's kind of weird. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Like, I guess, I guess if you're, if you're raising your motion right here, it's like the tendons underneath the, the collarbone, or yeah, underneath your clavicle. You can kind of feel it underneath. So, so yeah, I guess had some sort of surgery there, but apparently, hopefully it won't be that bad. 
So it kind of connects like to like maybe uh, your sternum, un some, some cords, some tendons that go under cords. That's what that's the medical term. Some cords that go underneath your uh, clavicle connects to the ribs. Anyway, you got something there. But hopefully, yeah, for the sake of TJ's Brendan McKay PC. And there's Jonathan Heim. Jonah Heim, that is. Rangers. John McGee with Jonah. John with Jonah. But he's a... Uh, He's like an Otani. He's supposed to be a be a two way player, and he can hit. A, he can hit a little bit too, so that already just instantly increases just his stock, his value in a secondary market. There's Dane Dunning, gold, thirty six out of fifty. Another one for Texas. Oops, sorry, apologies, Paul Goldschmidt. All right, two boxes to go. All right, Rex, what do you got for us, Rex? Rex is saying, your boss put together a Thanksgiving dinner for every during the day. Oh, and left the third shift out again. Happens every year. Yeah, it shouldn't surprise you. I know uh, some of my friends who are in the medical industry who were saying, especially during the height of the pandemic, where it was like, where it was like, hey, I, while we appreciate everybody, you know, donating, delivering food to our, our medical staff during the height of the pandemic, try to send some stuff later too, because people would always say the food would come in early in the day. And then by the time that third shift comes around, then nobody would, there'd be no food left. Think about the third shift. Logan, how, how are, so Joe, how are people in LA liking the new arena name? Yeah, Staples Center, switching over to Crypto.com Arena, I think in, I think on Christmas. Uh, I mean, I think there's no like uproar over it. I think people are kind of bummed. I think people will, will kind of, will probably, uh, I think people will probably still refer to it as Staples. But I think in general, I think we as a society have seen, seen, you know, names on arenas and stadiums before and changes. So I think everyone's just kind of used to it. It's not like in the early days when they first started naming, selling the naming rights to stadiums and it would be like, what? It's Comiskey Park. You know, so I don't know if it's like that. So I think most people will probably just, most people in LA will just continue to refer to it as, as Staples. I don't think anyone's really in an uproar over it. I think people are more kind of like, ah, <laughs> we had a lot of memories in a place that we know as Staples. It was more of that. I don't think anyone's in a, I'm sure there's, there's always people in an uproar about something. I'm sure some people are, are waging campaigns on it and, getting online petitions signed, but I think they might be the same people that that try to that dislike the change to the Gap logo. <laughs> hey, Juan Soto, nice. He's got some excellent penmanship. Love his autograph. John Lafarge gets randomized the Nationals. And that's an orange parallel, 12 out of 25. Nice. Yeah, the crypt as a, as a nickname is not too bad.
All right, final box. Pretty nice break so far. Someone was saying earlier that, that they had got a box in the Stadium Club, Club Chrome and had all sorts of centering and miscut issues and all that sort of stuff. I do not notice that here. Although with any mass-produced product like this, sometimes you do run into issues like that, but I think we got, we got lucky here. Everything looks pretty clean here. Yeah, at least we're not the uh, the Smoothie King Center. Although I don't, I didn't know what a Smoothie King. I guess the advertising worked because I didn't know what it was until until people were like, "Oh yeah, in that region, like, Smoothie King huge." I was like, "Really?" It's like, "Yeah, it's huge. huge. They're all over the place." I was like, "Huh." So maybe it makes sense there, although it sounds weird to us because we don't have a Smoothie King here in California. At least not that I know of. All right, final box. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for the fill. We've got a nice Cabrian Hayes refractor for the Pirates. Logan M with the Buckos. Should have one more autograph here, maybe another numbered card. There's the auto, and it's Sonny Gray. Rick Thomas with the Reds. I think uh, the Reds are exploring the idea of, of moving Sonny Gray, who was good when he was healthy last year, moving Sonny Gray, maybe even Luis Castillo. Kind of their top two pitchers and sort of re revamp that team. All right, and looks like that is going to be that. Amigo Horner Refractor, Bryce Harper, Mar Mario Feliciano, and your NL MVP, Bryce Harper. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was 2021 Top Stadium Club Chrome Baseball. Eight box, half case, Ram Team 1. Just a quick look at the, some nice autographs we, that popped out of here. So thanks, everyone, for making this happen. Appreciate it. And we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.